This video will demonstrate the proper procedure for setting up and using the cardiolinear torque arm. Let's begin by reviewing each component. We have the vertical post. At the base of the vertical post, there are four holes. Using these holes, the base can be mounted on a flat surface. This is a horizontal arm. And at the front of the horizontal arm, you have the vertical tool holder. It holds both pneumatic and electric drivers. This is the strip feed reel bracket. It consists of a washer, a spring, and a knob. This is the balancer, and the knob that controls the tension. This is a balancer bracket. It sits on top of the vertical post. Some of the tools that you will need are a couple of Allen wrenches and a Phillips screwdriver. Before we start the assembly, let's put the balancer bracket on the balancer. For this demo purpose, I have C-clamped the vertical post to a flat surface. Next, let's put the horizontal arm on the vertical post. After the horizontal arm has been put on the vertical post, let's attach the strip feed reel bracket. Next, let's put on the balancer. Next, let's slide up the strip feed reel bracket and tighten it. Be careful not to over tighten it. You may damage the bracket. After tightening of the strip feed reel bracket, let's attach the cable to the linear bearing housing. Before attaching the cable, make sure the tension is reduced. This can be done by pulling out the knob, then turn clockwise. Bring down the cable. Unthread the screw from the linear bearing housing. Rethread the screw through the cable to the linear bearing housing. Next, let's attach the strip feed reel to the strip feed reel bracket. Keep in mind that the strip feed reel does not come with the Kato linear torque arm. Then, let's put on the strip feed reel, the washer, the spring, and then the knob. Next, let's put the insulation tool into the vertical tool holder. In this case, it's our KFS20 brushless electric driver. When tightening, you can rotate the tool to the operator's preference. Do not over tighten. You may damage the tool. A good hand tightening is all that you need. With the installation tool already plugged in, let's adjust the tension with the balancer. To increase the tension, turn the knob counterclockwise. To decrease the tension, pull out the knob, then turn clockwise. To finite tune the height of the horizontal arm, you can start by loosening the screws of the height limit collar with a Phillips screwdriver. Then, you can adjust the collar along the cable. This is done to the operator's preference. After you find that position, retighten the screws. Next, let's put the strip feed through the well of the front end assembly. Now, let's install some inserts. As you can see, the Kato Linear Torque Arm, equipped with our KFS20 brushless electric driver, makes installing tangless inserts quick and easy, making this the fastest semi-automatic installation system on the market. Thank you for watching the Kato Linear Torque Arm video.